Hey there, health enthusiasts! Welcome back to Healthy Life, your go to channel for all things wellness. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that affects many of us as we age nerve pain and tingling. Let's face it, as we hit our 50s, our bodies sometimes throw us curveballs. And one common complaint that annoying pins and needles feeling, or even sharp pain in our hands and feet. But what's the real cause of this nerve pain and tingling? Turns out, it's not just one answer. In this video, we'll be diving deep into the top culprits behind nerve problems in people over 50, busting some myths and giving you tips to manage that discomfort. So grab a comfy seat because we're about to get schooled on nerve health. The true origins of nerve pain and tingling sensations in your extremities, whether in your feet or hands, stem from the intricate network of nerves coursing through your body. These nerves transmit electrical signals from your brain and spinal cord throughout your nervous system. When functioning optimally, these nerves provide vital sensations and motor control, allowing you to perceive and manipulate various body parts like your feet, hands, or legs. However, disruptions or damage to these nerves can lead to peculiar sensations, such as electric shocks, shooting pains, or the sensation of pins and needles in your extremities. You might experience sensations of intense heat, cold trickles or tingling and crawling feelings. In some cases, numbness may also occur, leading to a loss of sensation in your feet or hands. This condition, known as peripheral neuropathy, primarily affects nerves located furthest from the heart, such as those in the toes or fingers. Similar to electrical wires, your nerves are susceptible to damage when lacking proper nourishment from essential vitamins and minerals found in your diet. Peripheral neuropathy encompasses various conditions characterized by damage to the peripheral nervous system, a vast network facilitating communication between the brain, spinal cord, and the body's other parts. Delving deeper, peripheral nerves serve as conduits for a multitude of sensory information related to the central nervous system CNS, including messages regarding temperature sensation, among others. Furthermore, they transmit signals from the CNS to regulate numerous bodily functions, ranging from muscle contraction, essential for movement, to the intricate workings of organs like the heart, digestive system, and immune response. In the United States alone, it's estimated that over 20 million individuals grapple with some form of peripheral neuropathy. However, this number might be significantly higher as not all individuals displaying neuropathy symptoms undergo testing, and current diagnostic tests do not encompass all neuropathy variants. In neuropathy, the normal flow of nerve signals is disrupted in several ways. Signals may be lost, inappropriate signaling might occur, or errors may distort the messages being conveyed. Neuropathy can manifest in various forms, including mononeuropathy affecting a signal nerve, multiple mononeuropathy affecting multiple nerves in different areas, or polyneuropathy, which involves widespread nerve damage affecting many or most nerves. So, who's at higher risk for developing peripheral neuropathy? Peripheral neuropathy typically falls into two categories. Acquired, meaning it develops later in life, or genetic. Acquired neuropathies can be either symptomatic, caused by other disorders, or idiopathic, lacking a known cause. Acquired peripheral neuropathy can result from various causes. Number one, it could be because of physical trauma, such as injuries from accidents, falls, sports, or medical procedures, which can damage or compress nerves. Even less, severe traumas can lead to significant nerve damage. Conditions like arthritis or prolonged pressure on nerves, such as from casts, can also cause damage. Number 2. Diabetes is the leading cause of polyneuropathy in the United States. Around 60-70% to 70 of individuals with diabetes experience mild to severe nerve issues, manifesting as numbness, tingling, or burning sensations in the feet as well as pain or weakness in other areas. Next. Vascular and blood problems that reduce oxygen supply to peripheral nerves can cause nerve tissue damage. Conditions like diabetes, smoking, high blood pressure, or atherosclerosis, the buildup of fatty deposits in blood vessels, can contribute to neuropathy. Autoimmune diseases can also directly target nerves or compress them through surrounding tissues. Infections often trigger autoimmune-related nerve disorders, leading to chronic or fluctuating symptoms. Further, hormonal imbalances can result in swollen tissue pressing on nerves, disrupting normal metabolic processes. 
Similarly, kidney and liver disorders can elevate toxic substances in the blood, damaging nerve tissue. Most individuals on dialysis due to kidney failure develop some level of polyneuropathy. Moreover, nutritional deficiencies, alcoholism, and exposure to toxins can damage nerves and cause neuropathy. Vitamin B12 deficiency and excess vitamin B6 are notable causes. Furthermore, certain cancers and benign tumors can infiltrate or press on nerve fibers, while chemotherapy drugs and radiation therapy used to treat cancer can also cause nerve damage. Then, infections like varicella zoster virus, Lyme disease, HIV, and others can directly attack nerve tissues, causing neuropathic symptoms. Finally, genetic polyneuropathies, though rare, can also result from inherited mutations or arise spontaneously. These mutations may lead to mild or severe neuropathies, while symptoms presenting at various stages of life. Some genetic mutations result in small fiber neuropathies characterized by pain, itching, and autonomic symptoms. Now, let's dive into the strategies for prevention. As they say, prevention is the best treatment. And when it comes to reducing injuries, there are tied and tested methods that can make a significant difference. It's crucial to be cautious with medical procedures as they can also lead to nerve damage. Avoiding unnecessary procedures whenever possible is key to safeguarding your nerve health. In recent advancements, the introduction of the adjuvenated shingles vaccine has been a game changer. This vaccine, formulated with an ingredient to boost immune response, has proven to prevent over 95% of shingles cases. It's strongly recommended for individuals aged 50 and above, including those who have previously experienced shingles or received the older, less effective vaccine. Additionally, many cases of neuropathy stem from preventable conditions like diabetes and other diseases. Individuals with neuropathy need to consult with their doctors about minimizing the use of medications known to cause or exacerbate neuropathy whenever alternative options are available. In some cases of severe genetic neuropathies, families may opt for in vitro fertilization IVF, to prevent the transmission of these conditions to future generations. And fear not, because we've also got some simple, actionable, but powerful strategies to help you combat these pesky sensations. So grab a pen and paper because you're going to want to jot down these actionable steps. First up, let's talk about lifestyle changes. Incorporating regular exercise into your routine can work wonders for your nerve health. Aim for activities like walking, swimming, or yoga, which not only improve circulation, but also help to strengthen your nerves and reduce inflammation. Next, let's address diet. Opt for a balanced diet rich in nutrients that support nerve health, such as vitamin B12, omega-3 fatty acids, and antioxidants. Think leafy greens, fatty fish, nuts, and seeds. And don't forget to stay hydrated by drinking plenty of water throughout the day. Then, stress management. Chronic stress can wreak havoc on your nervous system, so it's essential to find healthy ways to cope. Try practices like meditation, deep breathing exercises, or spending time in nature to help you calm your mind and soothe your nerves. Moving on to medical care. Regular checkups with your healthcare provider are crucial for monitoring and managing any underlying conditions that may contribute to nerve pain and tingling, such as diabetes or high blood pressure. Don't hesitate to discuss any symptoms or concerns you may have with your doctor. Lastly, let's talk about self-care. Treat yourself to regular massages or warm baths with Epsom salts to help you relax your muscles and ease tension in your nerves. And don't forget to prioritize good sleep hygiene, as quality sleep is essential for nerve repair and regeneration. And there you have it, folks. We've uncovered the real cause of nerve pain and tingling in people over 50 years old. Remember, nerve pain doesn't have to rule your life. By understanding the causes, taking proactive steps, and working with your doctor, you can reclaim control and live comfortably. So don't hesitate to reach out to your healthcare professional and start your journey towards nerve-tingling-free days. Please also keep in mind that this information is for educational purposes only and does not constitute medical advice. Always consult with your doctor for diagnosis and treatment. Like and subscribe for more health tips and information. And if you've experienced nerve pain, share your story in the comments below. You might inspire someone else. 
Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Healthy Life for more tips on staying healthy and vibrant. Until next time, stay informed and stay healthy.